uh, we feel very lucky to be the stewards of uh, this really amazing piece of Colorado history. Even just a few items tell a story. There's a couple of artifacts over here that really speak to the importance and significance of Camp Hale. In For Jason Hansen, the chief creative officer at History Colorado, the stories, he says, are ones of sacrifice. I think a lot of people in Colorado and beyond maybe aren't familiar with what an important role it played in not only Colorado's history. The history of Camp Hale. Over my shoulder you see the uh, winter whites that the soldiers at Camp Hale wore to camouflage uh, when they were in the snow. A uh, high mountain training camp for the U.S. Army during World War II where it's uh, troops that were specialized in mountain warfare trained uh, before moving to Europe uh, where they fought in Italy. A source tells Nine News that President Biden will visit Colorado next week to designate Camp Hale a national monument. We're still not sure of how much of the area will receive such a designation, but a source familiar with the trip also says 10 mile range could be included. It's a great day for Colorado. Jennifer Rocola is executive director of the Center for Western Priorities, a group that advocates for the preservation of public lands. This also honors our veterans, uh, and it's a great way to honor veterans who fought in World War II. Not only only that, but she believes the designation will have lasting environmental impacts. Public lands are an important part of the climate solution, uh, and we've seen, you know, wildlife impacted, communities impacted, and the more public lands we have that are protected, there are opportunities for outdoor recreation. 